The phrase that I like is I want to work backwards from magic. What is the magical outcome? And then let's work backwards from that. The first thing is you have to not limit yourself when you're thinking about the magical outcome where you're like, well, we couldn't do that because of X, or I'm not sure if that will work because of so-and-so. And it's like, no, this is not the time for that. Then you have to wrestle with reality. And if you cannot find a path that goes all the way from the magical outcome back to the chair that you're sitting in right now, it's just a dream. But if you have an idea that you can actually draw a path all the way to the magical outcome, then it's a great idea and all you need is patience and consistency. But you need to be flexible about how you get there. People write down goals like, I'm gonna lose 30 pounds in six months. They try to you know, make them very specific. And it's like, you have no idea what's gonna happen over the next six months. Ideally, you'll be able to draw many paths back from the magical outcome and you can start working towards those and whatever one proves most fruitful or whatever one you happen to catch a lucky break on, that's the one that you end up following.